Hi, in this video we're being asked to find the discontinuities of y equals 1 over 1 plus sine x. Let's go ahead and work through this. So, solution. So this function will be discontinuous whenever it has division by 0, because there's really no issues with the 1 up top. The only possible problem is if you have a situation like this, which is no good. So to find out where it's not continuous, we'll start by taking the bottom piece here and setting it equal to zero. So we have one plus the sine of x, and that's equal to zero. Okay, to solve this equation, the first step is really easy. All you have to do is subtract one from both sides. So minus one minus one, and they cancel. So we end up with sine x equals negative 1. And so there's a couple ways to solve this. I like to think about the unit circle. I'm going to draw a little picture down here. Here's the y-axis, here's the x-axis. And then so the circle looks something like this. Okay, and this is 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2. And 0 can also be thought of as 2 pi. Okay, so on the unit circle, every ordered pair is of the form cosine x, comma, sine x. So on the unit circle, sine is the y-coordinate of every single point, which is really cool. So the question then becomes, when is the y-coordinate equal to negative 1? Well, that's going to be right here. right? This is the unit circle. It means it's the circle of radius 1. This point here is 0, comma, negative 1. So one possible answer is x equals 3 pi over 2. However, you can get back to this point. For example, if I start here and I add 2 pi, I get back to that point. But I can also add 4 pi and go around twice. I can also go backwards. So basically, you can add 2 pi any number of times. So 2 pi times n, where n is the number of times that you add it. And notice that n here could be 0, in which case you just get 3 pi over 2. So n here is an integer, where n is an integer. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone Good luck.